Hi everyone, hi everyone, welcome back. So, uh, outside is bloody raining, so it's the perfect uh, weather for record some tutorial with VCV rack. So, uh, don't waste time, and today I want to try to realize something using the resonator by um, uh, mutable instruments. So, uh, let's start. We will take an LFO. Well, probably my voice will be a bit strange because I got a bit of cold. So my voice is a bit strange. Uh, yes, but in my channel, everything is strange. So uh, it's not a problem. Let's take a VCF, VCF, VCF. Two of them and let's try to achieve something interesting in this way we already used this strategy another time but now we had a probability we have our favorite probability model chance why is green <laughs> no you must be black or Raven, why not? So let's add a bit of probability here. Yes, rise up a little bit the probability knob. And what we will do now is to divide in a better way the left and right channel no, I can't see this thing green now, please. Uh, uh, let's take uh, a delay. Let's adjust a little bit the filter because it's too quiet. Yes. So, um we can do in this way so uh, left channel here and right channel here now um, let's do this ah, well, we can also duplicate these guys in order to have more space with other with our delay in this way left and right channel yes uh, so now let's take the let's make the connection in this way mixed in mixed out mixed in it's a it's a nice way to use delay in this way and you don't see very often this strategy because it's, it's not that intuitive to, to get in your mind because using two delays in, um, in, in sequence like this it's not something that you can also... that you usually do in hardware um, Let's adjust pretty randomly our knob probably you don't hear a nice result now but believe me the final result will be interesting yeah something interesting start to arrive now I take this guy channel and right channel yeah ping pong mode active the ping pong mode let's decrease a bit the frequency of our LFO
yeah these sounds that we are cre that we are creating now uh, that we are trying to create is supposed to be a texture sound so something that can support a bus a sequence or other element um, an element played by a, um, a sampler for example or had something crunchy some nice crunchy texture and now um, we will take a resonator resonator uh, no is this guy the resonator no uh, resonator ah this guy this guy yeah 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 so let's duplicate this guy one for the right and one for the left channel um, and let's do this the output of our main delay let's call this guy the main delay the output from the main delay uh, the left channel will will um, I connect it in the first resonator that control the left um, channel of our sounds Ooh, yeah something nice is coming and obviously we can change the, um, the resonator motor here the resonator engine yeah I can use different engine uh, for uh, different channel and obviously I can play with the knobs with the frequency with brightness yeah 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 resonance here that it's not very welcome I hate these kind of sounds this resonance sounds the resonance sounds here I can't I spot every time <laughs> every time I try to equalize every time I produce my music I pay a lot of, of attention in resonance cause uh, is a really disturbing sound in my opinion and is destructive for the um, le let's call final music consumer is <laughs> not an, an element very welcome in my opinion so um, let's try something with caudal yeah I know I use uh, almost sometimes the same module but you know when, once you get your uh, your preset once you get your way to produce music uh, it is you use almost the same thing yeah obviously I can also play around with the with the pen with the LFO they obviously you are you need to offset it need to be offset Yeah, it's a nice sound, yeah, I like it. I can also work a little bit more deeply with this, with the Volper Octave knob. And for do this, I mm, can take a sequencer, uh, the easier one, and I can, I can put the, sequen the sequencer here. 
um, and take the same clock coming out from from chance clock or maybe I can take the second output coming out from chance in order to have a more unpredictable result let's change the pitch here of pretty randomly pretty randomly but I want to quantize this quantize 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 uh, per octave yeah uh, out like this yeah yeah I like it yeah I can also take um, I can modulate the second um, resonator with an inverted copy of this pitch information using uh, a model from uh, Befaco the model is uh, this one a ten over this a ten over three, yeah but I can yeah I can do this because in this way let's take scope or see better um, what is going on here we got a pitch information I want an inverted copy of this pitch information so I have to do this probably offset yeah 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 it should work uh, let's erase this so uh, Yeah, probably in the mm, in the mid frequency there is a not very welcome resonance, but it's not that disturbing. Yeah, it's an interesting sound. Yeah. And obviously we can work, uh, we can change the parameter of our delays with the, the other caudal output in this way, pretty randomly. As you can see, I like to do random thing here with caudal, yes, because ambient music is not something very... Um, where it's important to have um, a pre-built structure I like that the situation will evolve uh, in, in a random way uh, tone where is tone here yeah it's a nice sound yeah um, for head more uh, we can take to make a bus, an easy bus using using a pretty VCO. Let's um, ah, we can try to use one of these strange VCO window window VCO. Why not? It's supposed to be a, a wave table, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's very similar to the wave table from Ableton. Yeah. Let's see what is going on. Um, I take the filter. In this case, I don't use two filters for save CPU and the, the goal in this tutorial is to create these sounds 
Now I want to see how it works with, um, with, with the support of a boss. But I'm pretty happy with this, with this full situation. Um, so let's take a VCA from Befaco. You now you have to shut up, shut up, do shut up, shut up. Yeah, shut up, do shut up, shut up, shut up, do. Mm. So downshift the pitch. Pitch, pitch, I want. Um, I want a C2. Volper octave. Yeah. Let's try to play around with this knob, yeah. <laughs> Almost we get something interesting. Let's see here. I never play around with this knob, so I can... Oh yeah, the unison, yeah. Let's see, let's take another caudal. Oh, no, 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 we will take oh, almost the same because I want to save CPU. Even if my uh, computer can afford another caudal, uh, it's better not to push it to the limit. No, 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 the other modulation knob. When you use this uh, module, that I can even know the producer of this module, Surge. Yes, I know I'm a bad teacher. <laughs> when you uh, want to achieve a modulation, you have to click this button and select the, the knob with another click, uh, the modulation, the, the knob that you want to modulate and you can play left and right in order to create to inverse to reverse the polarity and you have to attach a modulation source to um, this input and now as you can see slowly our wave shape is changing let's try to add these sounds no 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 you need to be more more deep no 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 like this yeah you need to be very deep very low this sounds is too acid yeah I can also I can also Hey, yeah, it's not bad. I can also try to layering a little bit more deeply this bus uh, in this way taking another VCA uh, taking a mixer mixer yeah, uh, in this case we can use a mixer, uh, so we can see another strategy for achieve a, a layering. Uh, mixer, why I can't find the mixer from Befaco? The stereo mixer, Befaco. The stereo mixer, ah, guy. This guy is a very powerful module. Is a stereo mixer. So, um, I take another filter, and now I show you why. 
filter. Let's change this filter with um, uh, a high cut filter with less resonance. But I want to use a strange filter like these or like probably this guy. So um pay attention now. Let's take a blank. Cause I love to have all the situation under control. <laughs> Uh, so this is the first, the, the lower part of our bus line and I will connect this in the first input of our mixing and I will raise the volume up all the way up. Now I will take the output, the pure out, let's call it pure output from the, the window VCO. And uh, I let this, the sound pass through the second filter, bypassing the, the first, uh, the, the lower filter. So now it's supposed to work. Yeah, but I want to pass before in the, um, in another VCA because I want to control the pan later. So, um, let's take the output. And you are supposed to work. Yeah. It's a bit, uh, let's say a crappy sound. Uh, let's reduce here the bass. It's not bad. Yeah, you can can you hear that there is in the top of the bus there is something crunchy. That is the the first filter. The second filter is the second filter result. Yeah. Probably is not that evident, but believe me is an important element. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it works. There is, um, let's say, a, a whistle in the top of the of the bus that I love. And let's modulate this guy with an LFO. a whistle yeah let's modulate the frequency of our filter yeah it works yeah I like it probably is not um, it's not a dark ambient track, this, but uh, the resonator can be a, a nice module for um, for create uh, a, a new layer for your sound. And in the next tutorial, I think that we can start to play around the sample and um, let's see what's happen if I had a resonator like this in a, um, in a sample. Yeah, I like the result, yeah. Some sound that we achieve now reminds me uh, the sound style of some track from the Division Bell from Pink Floyd. There is something airy, something um, 
a, a, a peaceful sound, something like. Yeah, and um, definitely it's not a dark ambient track. <laughs> but uh, probably the rain inspired me to make this kind of track. This, those resonators are useless. Uh, let's try to add a percussive element. A basic percussive element using kick from Caudal, from Caudal, yes, from Befaco. Um, VCA, a simple version of the VCA. If you love techno music, this module is um, is a must have because you can distort filter, you can distort your kick, you can change the the tail, you can change change as yes, the tail, you can distort. Um, and let's trigger with uh, let's trigger it with mm, with. Uh, Yes, an output from chance. That probably is too frequent for my taste, yeah. Uh, let's take another chance. Oh, I can't even see the green version. It's a kick in my eyes, this. <laughs> Let's see this. Uh, yes. And this module is also module. Um, you can modulate this this module uh, with this input you can work with the uh, with the shape with the distortion yeah with the the tail of your kick yeah i'm pretty happy with this track yeah and obviously if you want to add more probability you can uh, use a more dynamic sequencer. This is a basic sequencer built a classic eight, eight steps sequencer, but you can choose another sequencer, a more dynamic one, in order to create uh, more changement. Yes, but I'm pretty happy with. So guys, for this tutorial, it can be enough. Uh, probably the next time we can see together uh, how this resonator works with um, with a sampler because I uh, I don't think what is this module what the hell get out I don't think uh, um, to have used uh, a sampler, um, a sampler yet, yes, I don't think. Uh, so, uh, thank you for following this tutorial, for following my YouTube channel, for your support, for your comments, and see you in another tutorial.